Welcome to this special novena to Our Lady of Perpetual Help from St. Patrick's in Sydney. Let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Let us honor Mary in our prayer. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. Do you, to you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us now draw to mind the many ways in which we have been blessed through Mary's powerful intercession. For the many gifts we have received, let us give thanks in a moment of silent personal prayer. We live in troubled times with lots of uncertainty and fear. It is at times like this that we can rely on Mary's powerful intercession. She is our mother of perpetual help. So let us call to mind what it is that troubles us most at present. And in silent prayer, let us ask Mary to intercede for us. If you have a copy of the Novena booklet, go now to page 17. And we pray for all the intentions of those making this Novena with us. Remembering that Mary is praying with us as well. We will say prayer C. O Mother of Perpetual Help, May we always call upon your most powerful name, for your name is help in life, salvation in death. Mary most loving, Mary most faithful, you come to our help whenever we call upon you. In all our needs we will call upon you and say again and again, Mary, help us. What comfort what confidence we feel whenever we pray to you, whenever we think of you. But merely to invoke your name is not enough for us. We wish to show you our love. May our love inspire us always and put our trust in you. O Mother of Perpetual Help, Amen. Please turn to page 19. And we now pray our litany of the way. We call on Mary, the faithful disciple, to pray with us that we may follow Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. We respond to this litany with loving mother, pray for us. that we may forgive one another as God has forgiven us in Christ. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may pray every day, especially when we are tempted. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may not become slaves to money, pleasure, and the other false values in our society. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may use our talents wisely for God's praise and glory. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we see our need for forgiveness and healing and seek God's pardon in the sacrament of reconciliation. Loving Mother, pray for us 
that we may discover Christ in the events of our daily lives. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may communicate with love and openness in our family life. Loving Mother, pray for us, that the laity may transform today's society with the values of Christ. Loving Mother, pray for us, for those who live in despair and without meaning in their lives. Loving Mother, pray for us. We pray together the concluding prayer of our Litany of the Way, found on page 23 in our Novena book. Mary, our loving Mother, you have been called and truly are the perfect Christian, the ideal disciple of the Lord. We praise and thank you, God, for giving you to us as our model in following Jesus. Pray for us that by imitating your example, we may grow more like our divine Lord. Help us to become the kind of Christians he is calling us to be in our world today. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Mary, our loving mother, you've called us to be part of this novena. And now we will have a reading from Holy Scripture. We'll have a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, you may be quite sure of this, that if the householder had known at what hour the burglar would come, he would not have let anyone break through the wall of his house. You too must stand ready because the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Peter said, Lord, do you mean this parable for us or for everyone? The Lord replied, what sort of steward then is faithful and wise enough for the master to place him over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time? Happy that servant, if his master's arrival finds him at this employment. I tell you truly, he will place him over everything he owns. But as for the steward, who says to himself, my master is taking his time coming and sets about beating the men, servants and the maids and eating and drinking and getting drunk. His master will come on a day he does not expect and an hour he does not know. The master will cut him off and send him to the same fate as the unfaithful. The servant who knows what his master wants but has not even started to carry out those wishes, will receive very many strokes of the lash. The one who did not know, but deserves to be beaten for what he has done, will receive fewer strokes. When a man has a great deal given him, a great deal will be demanded of him. When a man has had a great deal given him on trust, even more, will be expected of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Mary is the model disciple. There she was, a Jewish girl waiting with all her heart for the redemption of her people. At the Annunciation, the, mess the messenger of God calls Mary full of grace and reveals God's plan to her. Because Mary actively said yes and accepted the word of God, the word became flesh. Our Savior came into the world. Mary's unexpected pregnancy, the birth of Jesus when there was no room in the inn, the flight into Egypt that meant that Mary and Joseph and Jesus became immigrants, the passion and death of her son, before her very eyes. Much was expected of Mary, but she shows us that it is possible to endure hardship with courage 
and with faith in God. As we reflect on Mary, the model disciple, and as we reflect on today's gospel reading, today is a good day to ask a question. To what degree are we living as a good steward? Do we treat everyone as we want to be treated? Do we find ways to share with those who are less fortunate? We, are, may, we may not be able to help everyone who comes to us seeking assistance, but do we raise up in prayer those we see who are in need, or do we pretend not to see those who are in need? Jesus said in today's gospel, to know how we are to behave and to choose not to act in this manner is a far more grievous offense than if we hadn't known how God expects us to behave. We've been blessed with a good brain in our head. We know what is right. We know what is wrong. We know what God expects us to do. But whenever we are uncertain as to how to behave, we need only to refer to Mary. Mary presents us with our model of discipleship. During this novena, pray for the inner strength to forgo selfishness. Inspired by Mary, the model disciple, may we who have heard the word in turn act according to the word. Let us now take our Novena book and pray the prayer found on page 27. For those who do not yet believe in Christ, that they may come to know the fullness of the truth. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For all Christian churches, that they may become one fold under one shepherd. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who do not come to Mass in the sacraments, that they may better appreciate the part these play in our Christian living. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For the spiritually poor who do not yet see their continuing need for God, that they may come to God in prayer. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who feel unloved, alone, broken, for those who suffer from drug and alcohol addiction, that they may seek the help they need. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. And for refugees and all who suffer want and hunger, that we may always answer Jesus' call to help them. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. And now we pause in silence and pray for the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, in this challenging time. And now let us pray the prayer that our Savior Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.